All right, guys, for my presentation for my interactive whiteboard, I went with uh, minttometer.com. Uh, I found the site fairly user-friendly. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go through my lesson here and uh, I'll uh, explain how my students would interact with this lesson. I start off with my title page. Uh, the lesson we're gonna be studying for this is uh, the Civil War. We are recapping this unit uh, before they start their final testing, so I thought this was appropriate. Uh, my title page just says Civil War Recap Lesson, 7th Grade Social Studies, and my name, Mr. Andrew Herring. On the second slide, I give a brief uh, introduction to the Civil War, the years of 1861 to 1865, and a just brief introduction. The Civil War was the defining event in American history from the 1700s to the 1900s. This war was once and for all cleared up the issues of slavery, states' rights, and whether states could secede from the Union. Next slide. All right, defining factors. At this point, oh, and I forgot to mention, when uh, I start this slide, I can have all my students on Chromebooks on Minty.com, as you can see on the top of the page, typing in that code, and they can follow along and answer the questions as the slide goes on, answer the questions Side. So at this point, I'll have um, calling students. The first one was the defining factors that led to the Civil War. The first one, the issue of slavery between the North and the South. I'll call another student. The South thought that the states had the right, super, state rights superseded the federal government. And the third issue, that states could leave the Union if they felt they could. The South was for this idea. The Union was against it. On to the next slide, you get to our first question. On this question, my students now on menti.com, after putting in that code, will all put in their answers. As they put in their answers, they will show up on the uh, page here. The question was, who was the leader of the Southern Armies? The five uh, options being uh, Lee, Grant, Sherman, Jackson, and Whitney. As they put their answers in, I picked the option to not show the correct answer as I'll have them uh, answer through it. And then at the end, when we see the tallies, uh, I will know, I will, we will then explain that it was General Lee, Robert E. Lee, who was a leader of the Southern Armies in the Army of Virginia. All right, next slide. Another interactive question for my students that they will be doing, uh, that they can answer through their uh, other t uh, tablets. As they follow along, who was the leader of the Union armies? I have Grant, Sherman, and Howley. As they answer once again, their answers will tally here on the sheet, go up. The answer, of course, is General Ulysses S. Grant. We will move on from there. I have just another quick uh, slide here. This, this is the uh, Long and Bloody War, which the Civil War, of course, was. The Civil War was a Long and Bloody War that took more American lives than any other war in U.S. history. There were many large battles in the Civil War, and here is a great rundown. This website link that I have here, which I will click in just a minute, is a great website uh, video that I'm going to show them at the end that pretty much sums up the entire Civil War, all the leaders, and all the major battles and their locations on an interactive map that they'll be watching through the video. Um, let me go ahead and click that for you. They might have to highlight it into another tab. Nope, they can just right click it. On uh, minimeter.com, you cannot embed a video, so I just had to uh, leave a link. I looked it up, and on their uh, customer service page, there is many uh, different uh, people requesting from businesses to educational backgrounds asking to add the feature of embedding uh, videos for hyperlinks. Uh, it has not been done at this time that I could find, so I just had to post a link. Uh, this video is a, not, is a good video. It would finish out the rest of my lesson. It's 27 minutes long uh, between the beginning of the lesson and answering the questions to get into this. It should be about a full lesson's worth of class time. Uh, is it a great video? I'll just kind of fast forward you through it here. 
the beginning it shows some real actual They've never seen before this video was released States footage of, of the last living Davis Civil War veterans in the 1930s. The growing divisions. Then the then it breaks up. I'm gonna show you what I really like, what I was gonna show them at the end of this video. It starts to break down the battles on a map. It shows you exactly how the two forces to this right here. It does this all throughout the video the showing different uh, to me, it really the helps break down for the kids, and I felt like this soldiers, was a really engaging way of the students being able to see everything here. So, that was, back to my presentation, that was the last slide. Time to um, near Sharpsburg. I wish I could have embedded a more hyperlink in this one. I think on it would have been really good to have a student uh, that I could have then called on a student to come up victor. on the board and he click it, but uh, I feel like it would be all right with the link there and the fact that they're McClellan following along up General here uh, on their Chromebooks would also be uh, keep them very engaged. All right, thank you.